you're all having a good day. I'm on my school pickup ride to go get my first son from high school. And uh, so on the ride there, we have what I call loop-de-loops, but it's like rotaries, like one after the other. And there are so many times that I almost get hit while driving over here. And it's of no fault of mine. People just don't pay attention. They don't use their directionals. Last week, was it last week? I think it was last week, a oil truck just decided to come over into my lane and I could have touched his truck. That's how close he was to me. And I'm uh, just not paying attention at all. Little cars out here. But actually, my car's not even little. But uh, yeah, just people not paying attention basically. But, um, yeah, so I did a video earlier, and, um, I'll be uploading that as well, probably around the same time as this one, uh, because I didn't get to do it before I left, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys are all having a lovely day. School pickup is a really weird thing, because when I went to school, I was a bus kid from uh, elementary and then junior high I walked to school to and from school and then high school I took a bus but I love the fact that I can pick my kids up and drop them off every day I'm lucky enough to have a job where I'm able to do that I work from home um, so I really like that I know that they're safe on the way to and from school and then I like that I get to see them right after school and have just conversations one-on-one um, -on -one, in a sense with them but <laughs> sitting in the school pickup um, parking area it is just so strange like all the different types of people like parents that are waiting there some of them like smoking cigarettes in their car while they're waiting for their kid that annoys the shit out of me because um, then the kids getting into a car with cigarette smoke like I just feel like I don't, I don't like it and I'm a smoker and just not a fan of it but um then like seeing some of the kids like the trends that are back that were a thing when I was in school it is the most wildest thing. Like the other day there was a girl, I swear it was like straight out of like weather vane. And if you don't know that story, you're probably way too young. But she had on like bell bottom style pants with a blue shirt. And then it just had like a few like white stripes like on the top with like dark blue stripes. I was like, I'm pretty sure I had that exact outfit when I was like in eighth grade so bizarre and then you know they're a kid there's always you know goth emo back in my day it was goth um you know those kids with like the crazy wild hair and like I personally love that style I'm an emo kid um I just you know it's so cool kind of seeing it in this you know in their like grade level or whatever um yeah, this person in front of me just like, whatever. Um, so it's fun to kind of watch them all. And then I always put my windows up because the conversations these kids have, like I like to think my kids don't talk half as bad as some of these kids, which they might, just not around me. And that's all I care about. But like some of the shit they say, I'm like, oh my God. Like, ooh. Uh, and the conversations as far as like the sexual ones, they're just like walking around talking about the shit in the parking lot. And I'm like, ah, my ears are bleeding. I don't want to hear about who did what to who. Behind the bleachers. I'm like, that's still a thing. Kids still go behind bleachers. <laughs> I don't know. It's just super weird. Super. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just... I'm in one of those moods today where I feel like talking and not have anyone to talk to, so you guys, unfortunately, are the people that I'm going to talk to, um, because I have no life. No, it's because I'm, I work from home. I work alone. I'm in the house all day alone, so sometimes it's nice to talk. I have quite a few meetings this afternoon, so um, that's always fun. I have new hires, so I meet with them every week. And it's very interesting. 
Island. So half of my team is in Denver. I'm in Rhode Island. So I haven't met them in person. I had the opportunity to go to Denver this year, but it just didn't work out with like the kids' schedule and the dad's schedule. I'd prefer them to be on vacation as well as him because he doesn't do school drop-off and pick-up, and I just feel like that would be really stressful for the boys. Um, and probably for him too, you know what I mean? So I just thought it would be nice to do it when <clears throat> they're both on um, vacation. So <clears throat> I didn't get to go to Denver. Might get to go in the summertime, but um, I meet with them every week for a half hour. Sometimes it goes over. I have a really chatty agent. His name is uh, Ryan. He's like a super chatty kid. He literally every week tells me about his life <laughs> since the last time I talked to him. He'll fill me in on everything that's happened. And he lives in an apartment building where um, there's a bunch of like meth addicts and like people like doing fentanyl and stuff that basically they're squatters and so he tells me about like all these wild stories like last week they were right outside his door smoking meth and he was like hey do you mind not doing that right outside my door and I just thought it was hilarious because he's such a polite kid he's from um Dakota South Dakota I think so he's just like a really like chill kid and I thought it was pretty funny that he was just so calm about it. Like, I grew up in New Bedford. There were crackheads everywhere. Like, it was just nothing new. I got my Duncan. Yeah, that's right. I earned it. But, um, I don't know. He's like a sweet kid, and it's just like a total, like, world warp compared to, like, what he's, you know, used to and what he's grown up with and stuff. And he tells me, like, it's, like, really, um, where he comes from is like a very small area and like not a lot of people um so yeah so I meet with him today and then I meet with another girl um that has a bunch of geckos which I love and she has a bunch of cats so usually in our one-to-ones I ask her to bring her cats <laughs> so I can see them I want a cat so bad but not not looking like it anytime soon unfortunately but, um, yeah, and then, who else do I have? To, oh, I have this other girl in Denver. I haven't really made a connection with her. It's really just business. Some people, like, a lot of my agents I have a strong connection to, and I consider them friends outside of work. Um, and, you know, I know about their life, all the things they're going through, and it's, there's a connection there. I can relate to them in different ways. Um, but with this specific agent... There's not a lot of um, cross-function, if you will. Like, we're just very different people, different walks of life, and it's very much just business with her, which is fine, you know what I mean? Like, some people, that's just how it is. And I'm cool with that. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to jump on here, because, like I said, I'm just in a mood today where I want to talk, and ramble and that's pretty much all this is it's just a ramble but uh yeah hope y'all are doing well and uh check out the other video it's a bit longer um it's got some juicy stuff in there so have a listen and uh feel free to drop comments and interact if you have uh you know story ideas that you'd like me to give my opinion on i'm happy to i have a lot of uh life under my 41 years on this earth and uh I've gone through a lot as many people have so um it's pretty much what my channel is going to be about I'm just going to talk about things I've gone through and what I'm going through if no one listens that's fine it's more like just a way for me to get things out there and just kind of it's just a creative aspect of life I love how this is like shining right now <laughs> it's like oh um, but yeah, it's just a creative outlet and yeah. So anywho, I hope you guys have a great day. Check out the video and, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.